these things got to Chris and Jessica? I hope not. Hey, no one's saying Chris is dead. All right, then let's find him already. You hear that? Was that the lock? I'll check it out. Okay, I'll see what I can find here. Copy that. I'll radio you if I pick up Chris's trail. You know what, just in case, let's scan around here first. Because I don't know if that's the way I'm supposed to go or not. Because in my head, I'm like, let's go backwards to see if we can find any bullshit. But what if it's like, that's actually what I'm supposed to do? I'm pretty sure it's not, but just in case. Um, I've also, because I've been thinking, and I'm like, Jill sounds super familiar. And I know why that is. It's because she reminds me of black cat from spider-man but checking imdb that is factually not the i'm hitting the y button to try and pick up shit like just let me customize my own damn controls please um but that was jennifer hale and this is not jennifer hale oh well so if that gives you a understanding on who i was who she sounds like to me this thing has a lot of similarities to the corpses on the beach Oh, I was wondering what the hell I was scanning. Um, yeah, I'll be up front. I don't think that this game is designed the best. I like it, but I will happily acknowledge the game's faults. And that was a nice example, and there will be another nice example next time we actually find an enemy and kill it. Especially if we can kill it on stairs. I don't know how long that stuff is going to stay there, so... I'm not going to tell you yes or no and all right, well, I was hoping it would stay open. Yes or no indefinitely. But uh yeah, other words, I think I'll be courteous and just fast forward me mucking around and then in whatever we find, we find and then we can get back to the actual game as it should be. Okay, we found lots of ammo that we cannot collect, and um, despite what I did say a moment ago, this is, the boat itself is an actual open world kind of area. So at any point in the game, you can come back to this very spot and explore and pick up shit. So it's not bad, if I remember right, I think it was it. Chris! Chris! Come on, say something! I found Chris, but he's trapped in there. Can you get him out? No, it's a tough lock. I need the key. Okay, then let's find it. See, like... Again, sorry, but not sorry. Like, that's kind of just the way the game's played and the way they designed it, where they want and encourage you to look through everything as much as possible. And I kind of think of it a little bit like 
Bioshock, where you take pictures of the enemies and then you end up doing more damage to them. So, like, that's kind of the way I personally view the experience. Uh, you can only hold a maximum of five herbs. I believe you can get upgrades. Like, I know, I'm pretty sure you can get upgrades. Like, ammo cases and herb cases and stuff. And what do they call it? Self-defense? It's not self-defense. It's, like, throwable items and stuff like that. Because we have, like, a grenade, I think. Actually, wait a minute. Wasn't there something funny about one of these windows? Okay, I guess not. I remember something about playing the 3DS version and something funny about a window. Because it was something relevant. Oh, I think it was because if you. There's like a text box. And if you click on the text box, it just shows like a close up of Jill's tits. And I was like, yeah, that's a good job, game. Good job. I think that was it. I remember taking a photo of it when I first played it years back. It's a good game! In case you can't tell. Open. There's nothing there. What about in the sink? Nothing there either. So like, this is one of those, again, immersive situations where they like, tempt you in. Bathrooms are evil. Oh, hey. Because you know somewhere, some fool is about to come out and say hello. So when they die, they all melt into puddles like this. The problem is, if they melt onto a puddle like this on the stairs, it still resembles this shape. So they didn't accommodate for things like slopes. It's always going to be that flat blob. Oh shit, I forgot to scan them. Okay, well you're supposed to scan them when they're alive. But it is a thing of like... You look at it and you're like, you could have polished that a little bit. And they didn't. So that's that's like a a nitpick with it. I, could, I can forgive the 3DS. It's challenged technology, shall we say. But, I mean, I guess you could say the same thing about the Wii U if you want to be one of those people. But, um, you know, I have I have a little bit higher expectations. But yeah, they always turn into these little blobs. and I don't know, it just feels kind of like cheap. So that's that's basically my my gripe, is just that. The little blob dealy that they turn into. That's really my biggest comp well, that's my biggest complaint on a, um, I guess a visual sense, but there's definitely another thing I can think of that I'm not too keen on, but it's, it, it'll be alright. See, I was thinking about backtracking and going to grab some of those handgun bullets we left behind, but I was like, you know, if you do that, everyone's going to hate you. They want you to play the game and move forward, not backwards. Maybe it's this window? No, it should be. Eh, well, whatever. I don't know why, but... You're supposed to be able to look out the window and Jill's like, Wow, it's so wet out there! Something like that. Come on, window! Yeah, see, you don't seem to have that issue on a bigger screen. An anchor mark. Yeah, see, then they give you stuff like this. And it feels nice and classic and claustrophobic. So, it does, it feels nice from the word go, in my opinion. And I would be totally fine with them doing stuff more like this. With Remake 2, I also feel like they they did a pretty good job. My biggest complaints is when Leon or Claire say something. Because when they say something, it's just fucking awkward. They'll be like, what the hell? And then like the enemy will already be dead and the fight's over. And it's like, what are you talking for? Shut up. That, and I, you notice that there's fucking lights here? You see that son of a bitch? That's called a light. They have lights in this game. You can see where you're going. They don't have that in Remake 2. 
That's my biggest annoyance with that. Whoops. I had to scan. It won't let me scan them, it'll let me scan through the walls. Well. Here I was thinking, oh great! More edge gun bullets you can't pick up. But it's alright. Mostly checking things like oh, the corners and then rooms like this where there's stuff in it. But being able to scan through walls is kind of helpful because it's like, well, that means logically there's less scanning for you to have to do. Hold on, hold on. Okay. And if you're full on health, it'll actually just stay at 100. So you can, like, use an herb, and then it'll instantly give it to you the next time you pull it up. So they are considerate. Jill, what's going on? I won. I found a survivor. The BOW's got her, though. Who was she? I'm still trying to piece that together. If, if they got her, she's not a survivor anymore, Jill. Hmm, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I thought you could scan it three times. Alright, sorry about this. I'm interested in your crew quarters key that you were uh, handed. I couldn't find anything out on the woman, but I did find a key. Let's try it out. I'll meet you in the crisis room. See you there. I didn't actually look at the woman. I was looking at the key. I didn't even think it was going to be a key. I thought it would have been like ammo. But here, in case you want to look at the woman, this is her. She has tits. And, um, unintentional. There's a side mode to this. They call it raid mode. It's basically where you play through the game again without the cutscenes, the story, and you're just like fighting enemies and stuff. And this girl here is seriously the best character to play in raid mode. So that's a thing. That's a thing I'm not sure if I, at all I will ever cover because it's like I kind of want to, but at the same time I understand that it, it's basically repetitive in nature. So it would be viewed as unnecessary or dumb, and I get that. I won't argue with that. But I don't know. I like raid mode. I think it's a lot of fun. So, hi, friend. So you just dropped in. So if we can kill this fool on the stairs... Out of ammo. It's weird. I thought I tried... Oh, no! Reloading, and it told me no. So, So check it out. It kind of looks fucking weird. Like, it's it's a diagonal puddle that's, like, going through. If you get it at the right angle, this isn't it, obviously. You can see it literally just kind of, like, place itself on top of the stairs. And that's kind of what I mean. But, like, that was, it, it's all right. Okay, so she's not reloading, so I guess I'm alright. I'm gonna go back and make sure I can't pick up these ammo anyway. Yay! Eight! I thought it was three. Well, whatever. Point is, we got ammo. I kinda wanna- I wanna have it in my possessions this way. Like, I don't know if I'm ever gonna remember that stuff. I don't know if it's gonna glisten forever. Who? even knows. But a good example, I guess, of raid mode. The beach would be its own level. The intro where you walk from the boat to the doodad and found the gun, that would be its own level. And then right here to well this would be another level as well. So this would be like level 3 of raid mode. But like, I, I assume you guys get the picture. 
They'd just be like, yeah, there's a lot of baddies here. Look out. But it's... It's fun. And you don't have the scanny doodad either. It's, it's pure just shoot. But it's got a lot of customization. So I can walk into the first level with like a shotgun or a machine gun. And it'd be alright. And you just have yourself time. So, yeah. If you scan them after they're already dead, you get less points for it. So definitely try and do it beforehand. Wasn't there another doohickey somewhere? There's this, apparently. Okay, well, that was that room. And apparently we're walking right past, you know, this is exactly where I keep my, my H-gun bullets is inside the laundromat of the boat. Nothing. Try not to double check myself too much if I can help it. Can't go there because that's anchor key. Oh, hey. So they do have a little combat dodge. Oops, wrong button. It works kind of similar to how Resident Evil 3 did, where you just touch out. The, uh, go ahead. You just touch the stick and then she does it on her own, or I suppose um, Other M could be a nice comparison as well. But I feel like it's not as responsive. So a lot of times it'll be like, yeah, dodge this guy, and then you'll try, and it won't work, and then you'll be upset. So now I'm kind of used to hitting R1 instead of R2, and R2 is gone, R1 is scanny. So I'll uh, oh, <laughs> trying to teach my brain the difference now. But yeah, they have, they have dodges and stuff like that, which is, it's nice. I'm alright with it. It doesn't, like, it just doesn't always feel the best, though, sometimes. And you saw how, like, when I take damage, it starts going darker, and there's blood on the screen. That's bad game design. Don't do that shit. That's fucking annoying. That is, like, one of my biggest pet peeves is, hey, you know what would make your game easier is to, like, clutter up the screen. It's like, no. If I'm dying, I want to, pres I want to take as much damage as I possibly can before I heal, so this way I'm not wasting my herbs because other words no oh wait other words I'm just gonna waste my herbs so I can get the stupid shit out of my face that was a good shot and I can see she's not auto aiming so I'm kind of whoops don't do that I'm curious what's making me um, instantly go for the head like that There's a bed in the way, Jill. I know I don't have to backtrack, damn it. I'm doing it anyway. Shut up. Let me live. There's ammo here. I know there's ammo here. If it were a speed run, sure, I could save it. But it's not. So shut up. <laughs> Guess what? Now that means I never have to come back in that room ever again. Because, guess what? I'm probably not going to ever think to go back into that room ever again. I'm not going to remember where the hell I've left my ammo. Unless it's glittering and in my face, I'm probably not going to think twice about it. Was there another guy? Yeah, there's another guy. I thought I heard a noise. Ow! What the fuck? That was so rude. I'm missing. Got it. And see? Now, I don't need to walk back. Because there's nothing there. Yeah, because I got all the stuff by, um, Dead Girl too. That was H Grenade. 
at some point. We'll probably have to show off those. You know, required by a lot, wasn't there? I guess not, because if so, there would be still be glimmering. Use brain. That was an herb. So we're good. Jude. Come on. We gotta help Chris. You know what's also nice about this game over Resident Evil 4? It's that the game isn't constantly orientated like this. Like, I noticed it when she walked through the door, it was like this, but like for the most part, the game is at level instead of like this. So you don't have to constantly hold down on the stick to get it leveled. That's a pet peeve I have about Resident Evil 4. I never said it during the LP, but it's a pet peeve. Chris! Chris? What is this? Oh, great. <laughs> Shit. It's a trap! <laughs> It's time you learned the truth, Miss Valentine. I got an as rank. I don't really have anything uh, too witty to say other than I'm about to get rid of this cat for the rest of my life because he decides he wants to love me and then shake his stupid base, which makes bells ring. So I think I'm going to deal with him and wait, it won't let me save. Oh, oh okay, grand total. S! Good job for you. <laughs> 